Welcome, one and all, to the Book of Unwritten Tales. S with John. And Nissa! Yeah, Nissa's here, yay! <laughs> oh, oh, that makes me cough. I mean, excited. All right, I do not know what lies in store for us, but I also don't know why the screen's shifted to the right, left. Oh, it's not. That's just my blind eye. All right, new game. Wait, we always gotta do this. Make sure the graphics are turned up. Ooh. Crank it up. And turn the music down. Right. Subtitles. It looks good. I like it. I like it. New game. Chapter, Chapter one. one. Prologues. Prologues? Draw that is 20. a neat loading menu. I'm sorry? I agree. I like it! And load. And load. There we go. Mm -hmm, hey, what's that line? Mouse. Our world is at war. Only the old can remember a time without fear, without bloodshed. Defeat followed victory. Victory followed defeat. No one could gain the decisive advantage. Only now is there an end in sight. Who would ever have thought that it would fall to someone like me, an old archaeologist, to put an end to this madness? And I didn't find the key to ending the war on one of my expeditions. Not deep in some dark dungeon, nor on the peak of a fiery mountain. No. I found it in an old book. This guy reminds me of Bilbo Baggins. I only hope that luck has not abandoned Who? us. Bilbo Baggins. What's happened to Beetle, oh. the Archmage's man? Doesn't he know how... What? Well, I hope this bar goes away right here so far. Oh, oh cool. <laughs> oh, dear. This guy's in big trouble. So then, you're MacGuffin, are you? Archaeologist. Adventurer and future trophy on my mother's living room wall. Mother? And you are Monkus, dastardly son of the Arch Witch Mortroga. Hey, that what guy's do you got want from me? Voice. I think you know that. Sounds like Where a is it? famous voice. We know that mm. your feeble-minded servant was on the way to that damned magical trickster Alistair. I won't tell you anything. Take him away. Mother has ways and means of squeezing what Sounds like Daniel Craig. What? Yeah, doesn't he? <laughs> Did he have Craig the James Bond like guy? Yeah. yeah! No, it does not. It did sound like it was that. Days away from the wild lands. It's just as safe here as in the elf borough. I'm gonna have to turn that down. Oh, then? If it was left up to them, I'd just be spending the whole day... <laughs> so you're a girl? Yeah, I guess. I didn't <laughs> think they were a girl. Maybe I should play I think it. there's several characters actually no, in the game. Do anything stupid. <coughs> Excuse me. That's a fat bird. Back to the elf burrow. Yeah, how does it fly? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh gee. Oh boy. Okay. Oh wait, she jumped out. Cool. You can move Ivo using the left mouse button. Move her to the dragon's leg. Go. 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 Hint. Oh, I did not. Huh. One end of the rope is not a I could use it to swing onto the other side. Click it. Go. Go. I can't. How do I? Oh, she did. Good job. I'm an expert. It's like Diablo, where you just click. Examine the cage and speak to the something. The metal cage is fastened onto the dragon's harness. The old gremlin's in the cage. He hasn't noticed me yet. No. So go speak to him. Hey, hello. You there? Who are you? Uh, Rudolph, going to save the day for you. Yeah, More cool. interesting to me is who you are and why someone's tried to kidnap you. Professor McGuffin's the name. I'm an archaeologist. I've discovered something. Something important. 
and they want it? Oh, yes. You've no idea how much they want it. Oh, they want it. Mm -hmm. uh, Let me guess. Your kidnappers up there want to use your knowledge to achieve world domination? You may scoff, but they would have to skin me before I tell them what I know. Okay. Whoops. No. Sorry. We've Perfect. got no time to lose. You, you must take this ring. Oh dear, what I did. Take ring. it to the Archmage Alistair in the town of Seastone, on the coast. He will send someone to my house. The book that describes where it is hidden is there in my secret cellar. He must get it to safety. All right, all right. What about you? I will win you as much time as I can. I can endure torture for hours, days, <laughs> maybe. The pain. The humiliation, the agony of body and soul. Goodness gracious. Uh, sounds like a plan. Uh, yeah. Perhaps I should just release you and we'll do without the pain. <coughs> that would, of course, also be an option. Less yeah. Dramatic, but Why are you going to go insist? get injured and stuff? stuff. How can I get you out of there? Good question. This cage is well built and the lock won't be easy to deal with. Oh, I'll find something I to break it. I the cage and then it would smash when it hits the ground. <laughs> Just like my old bones. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Yeah, you'll make it. On the it. way to Mortroga's fortress, we'll fly over the White Ridge Mountains. Everything's covered in snow there and the dragon will fly low over the peaks. We could try it there. Sure. That was a joke. The chances of that working are about a million to one. See any other way to escape? Fighting is not an option. <sighs> Let me see how the cage is fastened. You do that. I'll be uh, here if you need me. Yeah. No I idea think it's what's going on right here. here. I should probably release the old gremlin before we get into enemy territory. We'll have to see how we go after that. Yes. All right, right here. This rope fastens the cage to the dragon. I have to undo it if I want to drop the cage onto the mountains. Indeed. So undo it. Oh, this is too tight. I won't be able to undo this just using my hands. But if I had a knife or a sword, I could perhaps cut the rope. Okay. Where are you going to get one of those from? Um, there we go. Check it out. Transport dragons can move great loads, like these barrels, wooden posts, and this big crate. I don't think that this stuff will help me a whole lot. Really? I don't think there's a sword in there? Why don't you have a sword on you? She looks like an elf. Come on. This rope fastens the cage to the dragon. I know that. Oh, this is too... I won't be able to undo... <sighs> so? Hey, MacGuffin. Maybe he's got one. What is it? The cage has been secured with a thick rope. I can't release it using my bare hands. Then you'll have to cut through the rope. Splendid idea, but I don't have a knife. Then get your hands on one. Kidnappers up there are sure to be armed. Cool. I fear that could be true. Isn't it a trifle improbable that a 50 meter long dragon with a pathetically small wingspan could be physically capable of transporting such a substantial amount of gear? How should I know? I'm an archaeologist, not an aeronautical scientist. I don't concern myself with trivialities. I see it flying, so I believe it. I, however, find it illogical. Quite illogical. Then it must be magic. Mm. Mm? If something isn't logical in this world, then it's always down to magic. Very practical. You can explain everything like that. Something's flying that can't fly? Magic! magic. <laughs> I'll just carry on then. You wait here. Okay, let's go up there. That's the way up onto the dragon's back. I can't reach this poor strut. Uh, let's grab the rope. What's your deal? That's the way up onto the dragon's back. Okay. I can't reach this poor strut. What's what am I doing around here? Help me out, huh? I don't know. I thought you you could grab those metal things and shimmy along them. What metal things? Those straps on the dragon. Oh, it's not, it's not doing it. She's not doing it. Come on, lady. Go. Why aren't you doing it? I 
no idea. Oh. Come on. I know. You're gonna say it again. That's the way up onto the dragon's back. If you can't reach them, then you need to, like, jump. Or stand on something. What? Oh, man. Hey, McGuffin. Such a complicated puzzle. It? Um. If oh, there I'm we go. to steal a knife from the kidnappers, Didn't then know I need to, to talk get to onto him the back again. of the dragon. There's a support strut there. If I could reach it, I'd be able to pull myself up. No problem. Here, take this. What? What does he have? A whip. It's always served me well. You could use it as a rope. I'll just. All right. There we go. Do it. There you go. Go. What? Was yes, yes, I was evil. And beastly. Yes, I'll bring him with me, mother. Yes, yes, yes. I have to go. Why? I'm steering a dragon, remember? I'm not being cut with you. I, I, yes. Good. Yes. I'll see you later. Love you too. <laughs> Oh, by the gods, how I hate her! No, not much longer, Marcus, not much longer. Soon you will have it in your hands. Life. But you have to be careful, Bunkus. Mother is mistrustful. She has her agents everywhere. And you are talking to yourself. Better shut up. There appears to be some truth in the Gremlin's story. If I remain right here on the outside, then they won't be able to spot me from the driver's cabin. But you need the good knife. A thin wooden stick with the flag of the shadow on me. The stick's been done. Isn't it? Yes. Good. And the sorcerer hasn't noticed. Exactly. Wooden stick, pick up sword. I think I can reach the sword with the stick. But getting it over here would be a bit risky. The goblin would notice the stick and I'd have a knife in my stomach before I could say, uh-oh. Okay. Um, spring over there. Get the short sword using the stick. I think I can reach the sword with the stick. The goblin would notice the stick. Okay. This they gotta help me out here. An old cardboard box. It seems to be some kind of emergency kit if the dragon crash lands. There are a few moth eaten blankets in the box, a bit of dried meat covered in white mold, and a blue and red potion, and hmm, a line with a fish hook. It looks quite serviceable. I'll take it with me. That'll do it. You can combine out another second an object and clicking out with another object. I'll knot the line to the tip of the stick, and hey presto, I've got a fishing rod. Hey presto. Hey presto. Hey presto. Now grab it. Grab that, this one. Good job. Score. That was dangerous. That was elegant. Uh -oh. Hey presto. Hey presto. I think I went back. There we go. All right. Cut it. I should warn MacGuffin that we're in business. Perhaps he might change his mind. Hey, MacGuffin. What is it? So what is this discovery of yours, then? A great treasure? A weapon? Well, I can't tell you. Too dangerous. And actually, well, I don't have it either. What do you mean? The wind is so noisy, I, I can't turn it down. Old book as to where the artifact, where it is hidden. Artifact, it. This is getting more and more cliche. Cliche. The struggle of good against evil is never cliche. You mentioned your secret cellar. 
Is that where the book's hidden? Pretty risky. I'll just carry on then. You wait here. I could cut the rope with a sword. To do it. Just cut the guy down. I should warn that we're in business. What? I thought we did. Perhaps he might change his mind. I thought I did. Hey, MacGuffin. What is it? Uh, found a sword. I've got there a sword go. and can cut through the rope as soon as you're ready. Fine. I'm ready when you are. We're over the mountains. It's now or never. Go, go, really go! Sure. Yeah, but if I don't survive <coughs> when they catch me, then you'll have to fetch the book from my secret cellar and take it to the Archmage. Okay. Isn't this a strange coincidence? A young pretty elf walks through the woods unarmed and is suddenly <sighs> caught up in an adventure. Don't talk. Oh dear. Just cut me free. <laughs> cut him. Cut him. Cut him. The right moment is close. There's the mountain. Good luck, MacGuffin. Good luck, little guy. <laughs> Finally, the wind. Oh, oh. Oh bother. Really? Why did that happen? Interactive presents King Art Games Production. Da 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 Wilbur, working hard at it, saving the world. I, I'm, I'm almost done, you. I could see, beavering away, eh? <laughs> what were you this time? A knight riding high on his horse, or one of those funny little mages again, eh? <laughs> ah, this is a little. Mm -hmm. it's a little hey, hero, I've got a job for you. A quest. Send my new house robot off on a rat hunt. That rat's got it in for my precious hops. And if I don't plant them, <laughs> beer's going to be a wee bit scarce. Oh, no. I've never heard of a hero having to catch rats. You're not a hero yet, laddie. You're still my helper. And that being the case, you'd better get your act together. Then you can finish up here and go and have some more heroic daydreams. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go and do a quality control check on barrels 2034 to 2038. <laughs> I've got a feeling there might be something wrong with the 2030 batch. We'll see. We'll see. Looks tasty. Okay, I need to uh, change the audio here real quick. What was it that was too loud? The wind. The sound, yeah. Speech is okay. Let's turn it down here. Okay. Let us save real quick here. John. And Nissa. Aww. Save. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. That is interesting. Oh, look at the fun music. <laughs> Alright, come Hooray. back next time and we shall continue. And maybe the mouse will dance. Maybe That'd the mouse will die. Or that. Goodbye. A thieving rat. Devious and dangerous. It always runs into its little hole when I get too close. Oh, that's a cliffhanger if I ever heard of one. Goodbye. <laughs>